we have to talk about the laws of thermodynamics because thermodynamics really is about energy rules if we're transferring from one form of energy to the other. And why are we talking about transferring energy from one form to the other? Because dog pounds, you need to eat these gummy bears right here so that you can jump over your wife's head in your wedding. It's that simple. We have to transfer chemical food energy into function, functions for life. So shall we talk about that? Of course we shall. There's two laws of thermodynamics that we care about. The first law of thermodynamics is very straightforward and says this. Energy cannot, I'm sure you've heard this before, be created or destroyed. You don't make new energy out of nothing. You don't get rid of energy. It only changes form. Okay. It only changes form. Talk to me about energy form changes. I draw you a gummy bear. This is my best effort at a gummy bear. That's the one that didn't get the death sentence. We change it from chemical energy into, I'm sorry, but this is a muscle that's attached. Okay, I'm not even going to go there. That's a muscle that's going to do something. It's going to do work. It's going to jump you over your wife's head. It didn't disappear. The nine calories of energy in this gummy bear is transferred fully. We can account for all nine calories, the whole thing. It didn't go away. However, the second law says that no energy conversion is 100 percent efficient. No conversion conversion. Changing form is a conversion. Do you agree with that? So no conversion is 100 percent efficient. Okay, wait a second. But we don't lose energy. It doesn't disappear. We can't make it go away. So, but we can't turn all of it into its new form. And some energy in every conversion is, okay, I'm going to say the word lost. Lost, but energy can't disappear, so it's lost as heat. Heat is basically garbage. You can't, okay, it keeps you warm, that's awesome. And the, it actually, that's important. But you can't do anything. You can't eat heat. You can't take heat and turn it into jumping, at least not yet. And I'm sure that it's something that if we could, if we could take the heat from all of our computers and do something valuable with that, like actually transfer all that heat energy into like gasoline or um, a way to run our cars, dude, whoever figures that one out is going to be a rich camper. Heat energy is considered loss. In fact, uh, this process, I think that it's 38%. Uh, yeah. Turning, oops, turning our uh, gummy bear energy into energy of movement, <laughs> that process, we're actually going to look at all of that. It's a process of cellular respiration, and it's 38% efficient. So, 62% of the energy in the gummy bear is actually going to be lost as heat, lost as heat. We can account for it. It's there, but we can't use it. It doesn't really do anything for us. Are you happy? Okay. Now let's talk about energy on our planet. Where does it come from? How, what are we doing with energy on our planet? 